Zone nine, channel one. One click of a button. Zone 10. And school administrators, nurses, and even bus drivers will have personnel access to Northwest Arkansas's bravest and finest. We would go to a particular zone there and it would be public schools and we'd be able to select on it. Zone And then we would go to the, their channel exact actual, actual channel and talk to them directly. All police and fire across the state communicate through a statewide emergency radio system. Now, the city of Rogers has agreed to let its district have a designated line of its own to local police and fire. It's digital, but it does look like a radio. And instead of channels, you have what's called talk groups. So again, you switch a dial on the device and it gives you a different talk group. These communication devices look like a walkie-talkie, but Captain Greg Bray says they are actually computers, which bypass the dispatcher, shaving off valuable seconds. You know, they would probably still call 911 in an emergency, but it would allow them to actually communicate with us directly and we could communicate with them. Um, and that would just, you know, it, it eases the flow of information. Captain Bray has worked as a fireman for decades and he says this addition is just one of the many ways his role is shifting towards prepping for school security. You, you take lessons you can learn from what's happened elsewhere and um, these are just things that we're trying to do that would make it um, our job a, you know, a little better whenever we're trying to combat, um, you know, whatever might happen. In Rogers, Peyton Yeager, Fox 24 News.